In today's video, we're going to be looking at what it's like to use an old monitor in 2024. Now, I've been using this monitor for about two weeks now. I'm dedicated to this video, okay? it's It's been interesting, okay? I have some pros, some cons, and just some general things I've noticed using this weird type of aspect ratio in 2024, so let's get into it. First off, this is a Dell UltraSharp 1707 FP. I know, it's it's a flattery name, it's awesome. This was apparently released in 2004? That was the year I was born, by the way. <laughs> So that, that puts into perspective just how old this thing is. Anyways, it has a 17 inch LCD display. It is a five by four aspect ratio and it's running at a 1280 by 1024 resolution at a 75 Hertz refresh rate. Now the PPI is actually not that bad. The PPI is 96, which is actually pretty decent. It's sharper than a 24 inch 1080p display, for example. Although the brightness is definitely pretty disappointing, especially when you compare it to my 1440p IPS panel I have right next to it. But with the tech specs out of the way, let's get into how it is to actually use this monitor. Now the bulk of what we usually do on the computer is just general day-to-day -day stuff and it's definitely a mixed bag here. Modern apps and websites are definitely designed for a wider 16 by 9 aspect ratio so using any sort of modern stuff on this 5 by 4 monitor just looks a little smushed. You can definitely tell modern website designers are not taking into account this aspect ratio anymore. It also doesn't help that this monitor is pretty small by today's standards. 17 inches is not a lot to write home about so you generally have to scale up stuff anyways which further just constrains the aspect ratio of this monitor because everything is scaled up and it just feels so claustrophobic. It's also very hard to multitask on this monitor if it is your only monitor because you can't really split up apps or websites in an efficient manner. That's mainly down to the aspect ratio again. It is not efficient for trying to do multiple things at once. Additionally, viewing like YouTube on this thing just makes it look so much smaller too because you have to have these black borders on the top and bottom because most videos are shot in 16 by 9 or even wider nowadays. So it kind of just looks like a, a big tablet when you're trying to view stuff, which is not pleasant at all. Although I will give it credit images do look pretty sharp one here. It's just that's only because it's a small monitor. <laughs> so overall, it's not that good for general day-to-day -day use in 2024. But if you're persistent and you're dedicated, you can make it work kind of sort of. I did also edit an entire video using this monitor. It was a shorter, less complex video, but I still did it. And it was definitely a little bit challenging with the overall more constrained space, but it was doable. I, I did it, okay? It was serviceable. Now, a lot of people probably want to play games on a computer. So how does this monitor do on gaming? Well, it's definitely a mixed bag. This monitor actually does have a 75 Hertz refresh rate. So it does look a little smoother than 60 Hertz, but it's not like a huge difference. Also, the input latency isn't really the greatest. So don't try to play any sort of competitive, crazy reaction time, whatever games. It's not going to be a good time on here. Additionally, some games don't even support this aspect ratio anymore. For example, Resident Evil 4 Remake forces these black bars, just like YouTube videos, so that you're at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Again, the image does look sharp. It doesn't look super blurry or jagged. It looks good, but you're constrained to such a small size that it just becomes a hindrance on being able to see everything fully. So still pretty eh, but definitely playable. I do find that this monitor shines when playing older games that are designed for this aspect ratio. It can even be a little nostalgic playing like this too, because it is from 2004. Anyways, in conclusion, how was using this monitor for about two weeks? Well, I will say that it was usable. Was it fun or was it a good experience? No, probably not. <laughs> There's definitely a novelty to be had when you're using something this old and archaic. I don't know how to explain it, but there's like this whole entire nostalgia. No matter what you do on this thing, it just feels like you're doing things as they were back in 2004. So it's pretty cool. But overall, it's probably more worth it just to save your money and get something a bit more modern, at least like a 1080p 24-inch display or something like that. You could probably find a lot of these for free, honestly. People just don't use them anymore and they give them out free or whatever, or maybe for like five bucks even. But so it's a really cheap entry point, I guess, if, if that's a an appealing thing for you. Overall though, definitely a nostalgic experience using something from the year I was born. And overall just, it wasn't terrible. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Thank you for watching.